Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight on WOSN we'll bring you a Division Three regional final between the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Castalia Margareta Polar Bears. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert. We'll bring you all the action tonight from inside the Fieldhouse. And Gilly, when you look at the keys to the game tonight, first for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, what's the biggest thing they've got to accomplish tonight to grab a victory? Well, you know, you're first of all, you're playing in familiar surroundings at the league school. They've been there, they've done it before, so they have to feel comfortable here. I think it's important that they get off to a good start. Number two, the 19 feet, nine inch line, I think that's crucial. You know, talking to Coach Yant, he's got to make sure he protects that three point line because Mar Margareta uh, likes to shoot the three ball. And lastly, you got to have the share and don't care attitude. What do I mean by that? They've had balance scoring all year. They've got to make sure they continue to do that tonight. For Margareta, you got to make your defense part of your offense. What do I mean? They're really good defensively with their hands and active, and they rebound really well. Number two, the charity strike. Believe it or not, they've made more free throws than their opponents attempted. 200 makes to only 188 attempts. And lastly, one and done on the glass. OG gives relentless effort. They got to make sure they limit OG's possessions to only one shot. So that's a look at our keys to the game. We'll step aside and come back, have starting lineups and first half play-by-play -play for you here in this regional final on WOSN. Getting set for this Division Three regional final. Ottawa Glandorf trying to make their sixth trip in school history to the state tournament. Meanwhile, Margareta looking for their fifth trip all time. You get a look at the officials for tonight's ball game. 31, 42, and 20 years of officiating experience. So we've got a very experienced crew tonight for this Division III Regional Final. Time now to meet the starting lineups. First for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, 23 and 3 on the season champions in the Western Buckeye League. The leading scorer for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans in the starting lineup, Carson Erford, 9.6 points per contest. As you see there, the starting five for the Titans. Then when you take a look at Margareta, got a win over Harvest Prep here on or earlier this week. And Kylie Leibacher, the player of the year in the uh, Sandusky Bay Conference as a junior, as a senior, broke her leg, missed the majority of the season. Still was honorable mention, all Northwest District. Scored 28 points here earlier this week in the regional final, regional semifinal win over Harvest Prep. So that's the starting five for the Margareta Polar Bears. We have everybody inside the center circle ready to tip you to see how we got here. Margareta went over Harvest Prep out of a Glendorf, a big win over Liberty Center. And Reagan Heck wins the tip off for the Polar Bears. So they'll have the first crack at it. Lady Titans coming out, appears to be in man to man. Polar Bears at the high left point. There's Eaton Paloma. Gives off to Lily Edwards, trying to get it to Leibacher. Has it. Dribbling, first 30 seconds gone. Leibacher spins at the free throw line, lobs. Really good help there by Chloe Glenn on the help and recover, partner. Glenn guarding Reagan Heck. Into the corner, three on the way, off the mark. And the first miss by the Polar Bears. Chloe Glenn hits the deck, slow to get up. Now we'll come back into your screen. We're at number 45. Carson Erford throws right to Caitlin Kimmett. Holds, gives to Lily Hazelman. Cross court pass. Caitlin Broadhouse into the short corner, tightly guarded by J.L. Keller. As the Titans patient on their first possession. Minute 15 gone here in this opening quarter. OG bounces. Caitlin Kimmett gives to Erford. Tries to bowl it a pass to Glenn into the far corner. Hazelman. Yeah, that was the right idea. They just got to improve the passing angle a little bit. Try to push it down to the wing before going down into the post. Caitlin Grothaus with the basketball. 
Long first possession for the Titans. Three on away from Erford off the mark. And the rebound comes down to the Polar Bears. So each squad has missed a Dales concrete triple here in the first two minutes. J.L. Keller hits the deck, no call. Backdoor pass to Reagan Heck. Can't corral in a tight spot. Throws back to the top of the key. And the Polar Bears will try to get it to Heck once more off the window. Drops in for the first basket. Yeah, OG got burnt right there with no help side defense. It got there, but it was too late. Nice pass and finish there by the Polar Bears. Erford bounces to Glenn. She'll give to Grothaus. Glenn with the handoff to Erford. Bounces straight away. Hazelman in the corner. Caitlin Kimmich. Turns her back to the basket. Down to Glenn. Bounces right back to Kimmett. Drives. Fouled. And she'll two, shoot two. Lee's famous recipe for e throws. Good job on the give and go there between here to be Glenn and Kimmett. Here's the replay on that nice little bounce pass. Good job taking it up strong. Going to get two free throws for that effort. Leibacher, the foul. Kimmett. Coming in 72% for the young lady. Got a quick sub for OG. Katie Kaufman's in. Appears to be Chloe Glenn getting a break here at the five minute mark. Kim at the 5'10 sophomore. Hits them both. And we're all square at two. A little full court pressure here, man to man. Kaylin Grothaus guarding for Ottawa Glandorf along that far sideline. As the Polar Bears, Lily Edwards throws in the corner, gets it right back. Edwards gives off to Paloma. Paloma, top of the key, guarded by Kim. Nice hands. Lost it, stolen away by Ottawa Glandorf. Here to be Katie Kaufman with the strip. They'll come back quickly the other way. And a block goes against the Polar Bears. Carson Erford will go to the line. Good strong take by that young lady coming in 66%. Harford, Erford, I beg your pardon, an all-Western Buckeye League second team performer as a freshman. I mean, partner, you want to talk about balanced scoring. 10, 9.8, 9.6, 7.7, 7.4, 5.1. That's tough to scout when you write a scouting report up. J.L. Keller for Margareta just went to the locker room here for the Polar Bears. They don't care who scores as long as they just share the basketball. Erford missed the first, hits the second. So Ottawa Glandorf, their first lead at 3-2. Edwards across the timeline, works to the wing. Tightly guarded by Grothaus. Foul committed by Grothaus. It'll be the first, second, I beg your pardon. Yeah, she just didn't quite get to the spot. Got her with her, looked like her legs. She beats her to the spot. That's possible charge. She didn't get there, though. Good call by the official. 3-2. Polar Bears trying to get it down low. Instead, we'll get it to Leibacher. Gets a screen. She'll rise and fire. Dale's concrete three. Airballed it. Lands in the hands of Chloe Glenn. Good job by Erford on the closeout. Quickly back the other way. Micah Aldrich. Glenn hits the deck hard. Think we're letting them play? <laughs> I was just My say, goodness uh, gracious. Quite the physical midway point of this first quarter. Still 3-2. This is where you feel the officiating out. You just got to maintain your composure and play through. Leibacher, right of the center circle, gives to Edwards. Works to the top of the key, back door. Leibacher dribbled Good it off her foot. Good job by Chloe Glenn. Real nice job. Out of bounds off the Polar Bears. They had the back door set up. Glenn placed herself there and held her ground. Caitlin Kimmett. Well, inbound is J.L. Keller. Comes Mark, 
Margareta, excuse me, partners, going to that one, two, two, three quarter court, trying to return the favor on the pressure. Titans with the basketball. Erford to the free throw line. Kimmick for a three, wide. Tipped back into play. And then a foul committed on the attempt by Lily Hayes. But a great play by Micah Aldridge to tip it back into play. Lily Hazelman fouled, and the senior, who shoots 61%, goes to the least famous recipe free throw line. Those are the ones that drives opposing coaches crazy. You do everything right and give up the offensive rebound and then foul. Hazelman, too strong on the first. As Keller comes back in the game for Margareta. A little loud in here, isn't it? it, it uh, you My could, goodness. <laughs> there are a lot of charged up fans on both sides. Hazelman, second attempt. Missed them both. Rebound comes down to Rankin Heck. Margareta. She'll bring it up the floor, and it's stolen away from behind. Pocket picked that by Caitlin, Caitlin Grodhouse. Sure was. Straight away, Hazelman for three. Airballed it, hits the end line, and the Dale's Concrete three-point shooting. Not great so far, Gilly. Well, you got to believe Nerves is playing a huge part in this. Both teams are settling in. They know what's at stake. Oh, there's a nice play. That's a jump ball, and the possession arrow favors the Titans. You know what's sweet about that? She just airballed a three and turned right around and made a defensive play for her team and got a tied up loose ball. What a great play there by Miss Hazelman. Titans inbound. Miscommunication into the backcourt. It's a race for it, and it's corralled by Kalen Roadhouse. Gets it across the timeline, into the corner. Kimmett, baseline, trying to go up and under, blocked. And it's nearly stolen away by Grothaus, and she'll pick up her second foul. Yeah, Reagan Heck with a nice defensive play there for the Polar Bears with the swat on that reverse layup by Kimmett. So Heck will inbound after the block. Under three minutes to go. And we'll let Ottawa Glendorf make a substitution here as Kaitlyn Grothaus, after picking up her second foul, will sub out of the game. Kaitlyn Kimmett on the floor for the Titans, as is Carly Brinkman in for the first time. Lily Edwards with the basketball. Tries to drive past the defender. Leaves it off for Heck. Ball's loose in the lane. Still loose. Pile of bodies on the floor. Jump ball. Wow, what Margarita a great effort. Possession. I, can't, I can't sit here and name girls because there's three or four. <laughs> just leaping and diving. Still, yeah, just, I mean, leaving it all out on the floor. Great job by both girls. Polar Bears inbound to Heck. Get it to Keller. Eden Paloma. Between the circles. Spins. Wanted to go back door to linebacker. She'll turn her back to the basket at the block. Tries to get rid of it. Does. Three on the way. Still. No made three-pointers from behind the Dales concrete three-point line. Ball goes out of bounds and goes to the Titans. Three to two, and you'd think it would be a half-court game here. I mean, they're going up and down and yeah. playing great defense, both teams. Both yeah. teams have been scouted very well, and they respect one another because they're both locking it up at the defensive end. Lily Hanselman still in the backcourt, walks it across the timeline. Brinkman, straight away, Erford all day for a Dales concrete three. Off the mark, offensive rebound, chased down, thrown back into play, and then a foul committed by the freshman. Great hustle by Hazelman on there, running that ball down. Unfortunately, they just have to get caught with a push. 1.51 to go 
on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard here in this first quarter. Yeah, it's definitely not been a clinic on shooting the basketball so far, has it, by both teams? No, no. Lots of good looks. Not many finishes so far as Eaton Palomo. Top of the key. Gives off. Going to run a little flex action here. A little back screen with a down screen action. Leibacher, I beg your pardon, Reagan Heck. Gets it down low, J.L. Keller. Out into the corner, deals concrete three on the way, another miss. And the rebound ripped down by Caitlin Kimmett. Kicks into the corner, Brinkman for three. That one pops out on her. And the Polar Bears bring it back to the top of the key with J.L. Keller. Leibacher holds, Keller. Lobs, long two, short, offensive rebound to Keller. In the lane, fouled, and she'll go to the least famous recipe for E-Pro line. Yeah, that's where Hazelman on the backside's got to go get the defender, or excuse me, the uh, player they're guarding because she did, she just turned and went for the ball and got beat on inside position right there and give up an offensive rebound. First free throw attempt from Keller. Up and good. Her first point of the evening coming at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. 85% at the charity stripe for this young lady. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. All square at three. Can't drop that one in over the rim. And the rebound comes down to Kibbit. Titans stand right of the center circle. Erford into the corner. Margareta going into a 2-3 matchup here. Kimmett, lobs down low to Glenn, poked away by Good Reagan job. Heck. Yes, was a great job on that help side. Less than 30 seconds in the quarter. All knotted up at three in this Division Three regional final. Heck holds, gives off to Palomo. Gives back to Heck with 10. Got a double dribble. She's not sure what she did incorrectly. I don't, I, I couldn't tell if maybe the ball stuck on her hip or not as she was dribbling it. Like an interrupted dribble. She was right there though, partner, and called it. 8.3 in the quarter. Erford, deals concrete three. No, nearly all the way down, popped out on her. And that'll do it for the first quarter. All square at three. After one on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts seamless spouting. Second quarter underway. Not the offensive explosion one might expect in a regional final. All square at three after eight minutes. Katie Kaufman had it ripped away from her by Eden Palomo. Yeah, that's a no-no. You don't want to bring it down at that high post area because the guards are going to be waiting on you. So the Polar Bears have the basketball. There's Jennifer Patrick in the game for the first time, holding. Looks to hand it off. Does to Palomo. Right down Main Street. And a foul committed by Lily Hazelman. That'll be her second. Just didn't quite get there defensively. One more step. That's her second, like you said. Also the fifth by Ottawa Glendorf, so something we'll ma maintain a watch on here. 7.23 to go in the second. Carly Brinkman came in for Hazelman there. Heck, lets one fly. Traveled before the shot. So another turnover by the Polar Bears. Looked good even with that extra step, didn't it? <laughs> Looked smooth. Looked like she stepped back and knocked that one in. 7-15 in the first half. Erford, tightly pressured, picks up the dribble. Brinkman, cross-court pass. Kimmett gives right back to Brinkman. Just maintain your patience here. Somehow able to get out of it, Erford there bounces you go. a great pass to Katie Kaufman. 
go side to side through the high post or go to the dead spot, get the defense going that way, and you're going to find an open area. That's the first field goal made by the Titans. Coming in the second quarter, and hit three free throws before that. There's the flex action again by the Polar Bears. Palomo on the wing. Coffin with her hands in the face, lets it fly anyway. Dale's concrete three off the mark. Foul committed by Kimmett on a rebound attempt. So that's the sixth by OG. Next one will send Margareta to the free throw line for one and one the rest of the way. Polar Bears have committed three fouls. JL Keller looks to inbound, is directing traffic. Lobs it in as time was running out on the five second. Countdown, down and into Heck. Guarded by Glenn, hits a screen, works to the right. Throws it into no man's land. Palomo. Yeah, they were fortunate they didn't turn that one over, huh? Palomo. She panicked a little bit. We get a timeout call by the Polar Bears. Five to three the score, 6.09 remaining here in the second quarter. And we'll step aside on WOSF. 6.09 to go in the second quarter. Polar Bears inbound to Keller in the backcourt. Leibacher holds it high above her head. Heck swings left. Edwards back to Heck. Trying to go a little four out one now with Justin. Nice help side. Brinkman called for the foul. I think Carly Brinkman thought she got all ball as she poked it away from Leibacher. Instead, she'll shoot one and one. I think the officials felt like she made some body contact there. They got it down low, and Ly or Brinkman, I beg your pardon, came around to take a nice swat at it. Nonetheless, Leibacher, 78% free throw shooter, shooting one and one from the least famous recipe free throw line. You want an amazing number? Yes. Nine free throws on the year. Unless that's a misprint on no, my yeah, part. No, she missed uh, She missed a big chunk there with that broken leg and hit them both. Okay. Then that makes but, sense, but, but she can make them. And she, she scored 28 in the regional semifinals and will now come out of the game for a for a bit of a rest. So but, basically she can say, I'm back. Yes, that's. Uh, I would say that uh, they feel pretty confident that she's back after that performance in the regional semis and a win over Harvest Prep earlier this week. Erford had it stripped, taken aside by the Polar Bears, Lily Edwards. Heck, contested three, missed the rim, but the offensive rebound put back up and good by Jennifer Patrick after the missed Dale's concrete three. Now that young lady just came in and just went after it on the glass and the missed box out by the Lady Titans. Frankly. Give up a two-pointer. Thought about the three. Brinkman will let the Dales concrete triple fly off the heel. Offensive rebound, loose. Chloe Glenn has it. The jump ball. Possession arrow. Gives the basketball to Margareta. Leibacher comes back on the floor. For the Polar Bears. Just over five minutes remaining here in this regional final. Winner moves on to next week's state tournament. University of Dayton Arena. Polar Bears get it to Keller. Top of the key. Still can use her dribble, does. Lobs back. Edwards. I'm going to get a little five-out action, get some ball movement here. Edwards in the lane, smooches it off the window for her first basket. It's a 9-5 advantage for the Polar Bears as their faithful flies to their feet. Titans with just one field goal to their name. Erford. Kimmett. Surveys to Glenn, reverses into the corner. Tight defense 
played by Edwards. Kimmett, Dale's concrete three, no. Long rebound, saved by Micah Aldridge. Glenn dribbled it off the knee of Edwards, falls loose, and it'll stay with OG. I'll tell you, you put the ball on the floor against Margareta, they're gonna, they're they're, gonna get a hand they, on it, aren't they? They're taking a swipe at it. Yes, they are. So under four minutes to go in this first half, nine to five. Carly Brankbrit looks to inbound. Lobs to Kimmett. Carson Erford throws right. Three on the way, off the mark. Another Miss Dale's concrete triple. Edwards races to the wing. Real good execution there by the Lady Titans. Just couldn't knock it down. High quality shot. High percentage shot. Reagan Hack gives to Keller. Bounces. Palomo. Patient offensive possession for Edwards. Tries to draw her defender out. Throws right to Keller. Isolated. Goes out of play. I think it was deflected down there. Looked like maybe the feet got tangled up. I, I think a good no call there that you just got a situation where everybody's stumbling over everybody else. Yeah. Nonetheless, Polar Bears with the basketball, leading by four. Get a look at it here. I think they just. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. Yep, we got a little bit of blood on the floor as Reagan Heck has some blood on her hand. They'll wipe it off. And maybe there's. A, oh, it's on her lip, I huh? I was going to say a couple of. Oh, yep, right there, number one. J.L. Keller. So she'll come out of the game after she hit the deck pretty hard there. The Union Bank Court gave her the old sweet chin music. And Heck is saying, I don't, I'm not bleeding. I have blood on me, but I, I am not bleeding. So she wiped it off the top of her hand. I believe they got the blood situation taken care of for Keller. So she'll go to the scorer's table, check in at the next 10 ball. Heck. Oh, nice cut, in nice bounds. screen. Leibacher, three minutes remaining in the first half. Heck, swings left, Leibacher. Double team for just a moment. Good defense played by the Titans, not giving an inch. Pump fakes, gives to Leibacher. She'll do more of the same. In the lane, Heck lets the Dales concrete three go and buries it. Reagan Heck, a 30% three-point shooter, has grown the lead to 12-5. Quick release there by that young lady. No hesitation, no fear. Titans being outscored 9-2 in the quarter. Spacing seems just off a little bit. Erford. One forty-five to go in the quarter. Kaufman in the lane, off the window, wanted to hoop in the foul. Instead, she'll get two cracks from the lead's famous recipe free throw. Pretty Line. move by the young lady, a little up and under with a power dribble. Close to getting the and one. I think they got hecked, didn't they? Yes. Her first. First free throw attempt for Kaufman. Drops home. She's got a three. First team all Western Buckeye League performer this year. Six one junior back to the line. Can't hit the second. Heck the rebound. A 
approaching 90 seconds in the half. Ottawa Landorf with just one field goal to the game. Leibacher picks up the dribble, double team. Bounced out of it to Heck. All day for Edwards, Dale's concrete three, no. Rebound, no. Comes down to the Polar Bears. Palomo Se Corral. Second opportunity, hopefully Ottawa doesn't you know, give up a bucket here. Leibacher inside the center circle. So we got exactly one minute to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard here in the first half. Keller, Leibacher, she'll rise and fire for three. Splashes it home. Kylie Leibacher, a Dale's concrete three, and the lead is nine. Second opportunity, come back to get him, didn't it? They hit a big three right there. Kaufman, corner. Brinkman for three, short, but the offensive rebound chased down, off the window, great bucket there by Micah Aldridge, much needed. Good hustle by Katie Kaufman, not only did she run it down, she made the dump down pass there for the bucket. Micah Aldridge kicks the basketball out of play on the inbounds attempt, so Lily Edwards will try to do it again. Under 30 seconds in the quarter. Gets it to Heck, hands right back off to Edwards. Crosses over, Liebacher, Bacher thought about the three, instead gives to Heck with 15. Keller. Leaves off to Liebacher with five. Heck with three, don't know that she realizes it, and they're not gonna get a shot off. So that'll do it for the first half. A big second quarter for Margareta gives them a 15-8 advantage as we head to the break in this Division III Regional Final on WOSN. Second half about to get underway. Out of Glendorf trails Castilla Margareta 15-8 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And Gilly, when you look at the first half, went about as poorly as it could for the Titans. And they're only down seven. You know, I mean... When you shoot two of 14 for 14% and four of eight, it's a charity stripe. And then turn around and Margareta, you know, they lit the nets up in the second quarter after going one for 10 in the first quarter. I mean, you if you're OG, you've got to feel good about where you're at right now. You can't play much poorly shooting the basketball and you're right there. So nothing to lose here, partner. I mean, let it all out on the line right here and play with no fear and have no regrets, so to speak. I mean, when you look at 0 of 9 from Dale's concrete three-pointers for Ottawa Glendorf, you just probably don't think the, the chances of us shooting 14% again from the field in the second half, the chances of shooting 0% from behind the three-point line probably aren't very high for Ottawa But Glendorf. going in seven down at halftime, that's something you can build off of from a coaching staff. Oh, absolutely. Margareta begins the quarter. With the basketball as Reagan Heck stands at the top of the key. Leibacher thought about the three, pumps a couple of times, drives, rises, fires, and hits. Nice move by that young lady. Good body control. Quick dribble to the baseline, jump stop, knock down that 10-footer. Erford gives to Kimmett. Glenn turns and fires. Off the mark, rebound to Palomo. Good execution by the Lady Titans. Jumper from JL Keller is up and good. Her first made basket makes it 19 to 8 Polar Bears. So out of the break, Polar Bears go quickly on a 4 0 run. Erford, free throw line. Dale's concrete three off the mark. Ball goes out of play off of Reagan Hack and stays with the Titans. Now that's a high quality three right there. They just got to get one to go in. Somehow, some way, if they can get one to win, you're going to see their confidence really improve the Lady Titans. Here you see another Dale's concrete three. Bang on a triple from Kaylin Grothaus. Finally, a Dale's concrete triple goes in for the Titans. Let's see what that does for their momentum right here. Gives them a little extra hop in their step, so to speak. Leibacher, top of the key. Hands off, Keller. 
Gives right back to Leibacher. On the wing. Guarded by Kimmich. Keller. Right elbow jumper. Off the heel. Rebound to Katie Kaufman. Good job getting the stop right there on the rebound. Another Dale's Concrete three. That one off the mark. Reagan hecked the rebound, and then a foul committed by Kaufman on the attempt. That'll be the first com foul committed by Kaufman. First and a half by OG. Played nearly two minutes here in this third quarter. 19-11 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Keller. Tightly guarded. Well, you got to like the way she handles the basketball, huh? Very confident in her abilities and just goes about it in the right way. Speaking of J.L. Keller. Leibacher. Step back jumper. No. Good box out by Glenn on the backside. Kalen Grothaus the rebound. Brings it up the floor to Erford. Kimmett. Back to Erford. Dale's concrete three. No. Kaufman a rebound. Put back. No. But she's fouled. And we'll get two Lee's famous recipe free throws. Good job going to the glass by Kaufman securing that rebound. Going to get two free throws. Kaufman a 54% free throw shooter. Mop up the perspiration on the baseline there, right? The start of the line. Coffin a 6'1 junior. Three points on the evening. Shooting two. Tough bounce on the first. A little it. bit short. Got to get them legs into it. Just a little bit more up on them toes. 19-11. Look good on the release. Just lift it. Get some elevation on it. Up and through. Too much on that one. However, Good Glenn, job by Glenn. Glenn tracks down a rebound and a foul committed by Jennifer Patrick as Glenn and hit the. That's just one of those 50 50 basketballs that Chloe Glenn's like, this is mine. Grothaus the inbound. Erford, triple, bang. Now, you know who's going to get credit for the basket? But it's Chloe Glenn right there with her effort on that rebound that kept the possession, allowing for that three. And the lead is down to five at 19-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Lily Edwards hands off to Leibacher. Spotting the state final four on the line. Edwards, Keller. Leibacher tightly guarded by Erford. Resets, moves to the high right point. Bounces to Palomo. Edwards. Long possession here for the Polar Bears as Leibacher will walk back out near the midcourt stride. Yeah, that's good coaching right there. You know what I'm saying? The kids are doing a good job keeping their composure. Speaking of the Polar Bears. Edwards on the wing. Titans not relenting an inch defensively. Patrick still can dribble, does. However, picked it up that time. Tightly guarded by Glenn. She'll get rid of it to Keller. Keller, baseline, hits the back of the backboard. Oh, and they'll say it was tipped by the tight. I think they I think they say Glenn got a hand on it. We'll see on the instant replay here. I thought they were gonna call a foul myself. Yeah, I don't know the Chloe Glenn. Yeah, I don't yet. even know she touched the ball, did I she? Yeah, I don't think she ever got close. And that's what you see. The, she just, the replay didn't appear to be any. Get a five-second call, we did. Great defense by the Titans on the entire possession. Can you see their attitude yes. changing a little bit? 
will slow it down in super slow-mo here. Boy, I don't know. Nonetheless, Titans don't give up a point. Coffin. Oh, what a Glenn. seal! Can't hit, but she'll go to the line. The energy certainly uh -huh. up, up for the Titans. You see her work in the post. She wanted the end one. Yeah, <laughs> Coach Yen, Coach Yen and his staff, they, they've come up with a game plan here in the second half. They want to start going high-low and pounding the ball inside. Glenn at the line. Buries it. That's her first point of the evening. 64% at the charity stripe overall as a team. Just over 61. Glenn, the 5'10 senior. As Annabelle Glendorf make another change. Carson Erford out of the game in exchange for Michael Aldridge. Yeah, Aldridge give him some good minutes there in the first half. Glenn hits them both. And a lead down to three. Glenn will come out of the ball game. She won't be down long. You know, she's, she's coming back from that injury, but she wants to play. She'll be back in there. Keller crosses the timeline. Bounces to Heck. Isolated on his side of the floor. Got rid of it to Keller. Baseline. Kicks nice pass. Out. Three on the way. Nice and pass. Scales concrete three for Lily Edwards. She's got five. Inside out from Keller to Edwards. Coffin. Bump fakes. Coffin up and good. Good job coming to the ball by Kaufman with the dump down inside. Heck floats one off the heel. Offensive rebound. And Lily Edwards will hold. Drives past the defender. Swatted by Kaufman. However, the three on the way. No offensive rebound by Patrick. And the Polar Bears get a third chance at it. Yeah, big time rejection. The only problem was it went right in the hands of the Polar Bears. Yep. Palomo holds. So we approach the two minutes mark here in the third quarter. Palomo, turnaround jumper, blocked, lands in the hands of Kaufman. Kicks to Kaufman. Hazelman, the high left point, under two to go in the third quarter. Trying to get it to Kaufman. Poked out of play by the Polar Bears. Yeah, Margareta went back to the 2-3 matchup zone. Glenn's coming in. They're going to give Kaufman a blow, so they're going big for big. Jalen Grothaus looks to trigger it in. Does. Erford deals concrete three. No. Out of play. Stays with the Titans. Erford will throw it in. Looking, looking. Lobs, top of the key. Caitlin Kemet right back to Erford in the corner. Oh, you can hear Glenn down I'll here. Say, hey, hey, she wants the ball, doesn't she? She wanted it. Unfortunately, turned it over. As soon as she brought it down, that's free game for the defenders. Edwards, long two, got it. She's got seven, and the lead grows back out to six, under 90 seconds in the third. Kemet. Fouled on the attempt. I think that's Heck. That's her second. See on the instant replay. Bullet pass to Kimmett. A lot of contact. I'll tell you what, she Heck. was strong taking it up, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Heck made her mind up. If Heck, no, you're not going to score. I'm going to waste one here. Smooches it off the window. 72% at the charity stripe for that young lady. She's got three free throws from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Nothing but net on that one. 
24-20 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Edwards gets his screen, turns the corner, scoop shot, no. Rebound ripped down by Caitlin Kimmick. Good rotation from the weak side by the Titans right there. May have just changed up the shot enough. She missed it. Under a minute to go. Oh, there's the look you want. Erford overcooked it. That closeout may have had a part in that, making her shoot a little bit long. Heck in the lane. Left hand hook shot, no. Rebound chased down by Patrick. Timeout called by the Polar Bears with 30 seconds to go here in this third quarter. 24-20, Margareta the advantage over Ottawa Glandorf. We've got a break in the action and a break on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. 30 seconds in the third quarter remain. The Polar Bears have the basketball. Be interesting to see if the Polar Bears play for one shot right here. It appears that that's what Coach Neal wants. Lily Edwards just standing left of the center circle, dribbling under 10. Gives to Heck. Back to Edwards with three in the corner. Fired up a three at the horn to J.L. Keller. Off the mark. And we'll go to the fourth. 24-20, Margareta. The lead over Ottawa Glandorf. Fourth quarter action coming up in this regional final on WOSN. Three-pointers tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. High school basketball also brought to you in part by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Fourth quarter underway. Titans trail 24-20 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Again, this 2-3 matchup side to side through the high post of the dead spot. You're going to get a good look. Three on the way. Missed everything from Kaylin Grothaus. And Reagan Heck comes out of it with the basketball. Edwards gives to Heck. The 5'10 sophomore. Van Wert shuffle cut. Patrick. Jennifer Patrick hands off. Edwards backs up. Gives back to Heck. Gets down low. Keller for three. No. Long rebound, though. Comes out. And that goes off of Margareta. And that's a advantage Titans. Yeah, that's one of those loose balls where you can't try to dribble it. you got to pick it up, and it bounced off a leg and just kept going and going and going. Erford, the inbound to Grothaus. Erford, Hazelman. Erford. Right there, good. Hazelman, baseline. Trying to get it back out to Erford so her catch and shoot got tipped. 24-20. Grothaus gets it to Glenn. Great bounce pass off the window. She'll shoot two least famous recipe free throws. It's the second time she's won of the and one and hasn't got it. Well, the only concern I have is she wants to put the ball on the floor, With and that that's, that's dribble. typical out of a post player. Mm -hmm. She's just got to catch the thing and chin it and go through her face and save that dribble. She does that, I don't think there will be any contact. She'll just get the, the two-point bucket. This is the first from the Leeds Famous Recipe free throw line, keeping it 24-20. Margarana 21-6, champions of the Sandusky Bay Conference. Ottawa Glandorf 23-3, champions of the Western Buckeye League. Glenn. Gets her third point from the free throw line. 24-21. 
Leibacher, long three on the way from Eden Palomo. No, Kaufman climbs the ladder to get the rebound. Grothaus up ahead. Erford holds. And Grothaus gives to Kimmich. Kaufman back to the basket. Back well, to Kimmich. She's got to do something with it. She Kaufman. did. Easy bucket for Katie Kaufman. You know what's going to come into play, partner, is OG through their, their, their lulls there. Coach Yant stayed with it and hasn't used the timeout yet. The lead is down to one as the Titan faithful rise to their feet. Trying to will the Titans to a lead. Palomo, three-pointer. Off Lynn. the mark. They'll push. Erford holds. Kaufman in the lane. And she's fouled. And she'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line with a chance to take the lead. J.L. Keller's first, sixth committed by Margareta. You know, I keep forgetting Carson Erford's a freshman. She went right over and grabbed her right by the arm and said, great job, make the free throws. She makes the first, Katie Kaufman with eight. A freshman. All square at 24 in this fourth quarter. The 6'1 junior back at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Hit them both, and the lead rests with the blue and gold. Yes, sir. Look at the blue and gold standing up. Lily Edwards with the basketball for Margareta. Gives off. Keller bounces to Heck, mid-range jumper. Nails it. Big shot there, wasn't it? 26-25 as we approach five minutes remaining in regulation of this Division III Regional Final. Bullet pass, Kaufman, yes! They're figuring the zone out, they're finding the seams and the weak spots. One point lead now rests with the Titans as we'll trade the lead back to back to back. Keller picks up the dribble, Leibacher. Edwards, straight away, back to Leibacher. Tries to turn the corner. Blocker charge at the charge. Good job by Chloe Gant. Glenn jumping in there. Giving up her body and taking the charge. Got set. Drew the charge from Leibacher. Her fourth. No, her fifth. That's her fifth. And Kylie Leibacher has fouled out of this game. And the senior will watch the rest of this regional final from the bench. Sandusky Conference, Sandusky Bay Conference Player of the Year last year. Broke her leg, missed the majority of the hey, season. Hey, look, she's a nice player. It's just sad that she only got seven games in, but great job by Glenn right there. She finishes the night with seven points. We'll see how that changes for the Titans. Floater, Grothaus oh, gets the friendly bounce. Grows the lead to three. She's got five. Reagan Heck holds. Step back three. No. Rebound to Kaufman. She's controlling the glass. Kaufman is at both ends of the floor. Midpoint of the fourth quarter. Falls loose. Chloe Gunn corrals it. And the jump ball points towards the Polar Bears. Again, I love the effort of Chloe Glenn posting up. Okay, she's going to break those habits the more she plays, but she cannot bring that basketball down because it makes it a free game if she does that. 29-26. Polar Bears, Polar Bears trail. And they've got the basketball, Lily Edwards. Throws right to Heck. Palomo, corner. Kicks, Heck, Dale's concrete three, and we're square at 29. Big shot by Reagan Heck there from the top of the key. Lily Hazelman throws left to Erford. Roadhouse, patient. 
Glenn tries to post up in the lane. Wants it, doesn't get it. Three on the way. No. Offensive rebound. Grothaus threw it back up. Couldn't hit. And Heck is fouled on the rebound attempt. Just the second foul committed by Ottawa Glendorf here in his second half. Yeah, didn't they get Kaufman with the push? That's her second. And a timeout called by the Titans you see on the instant replay. Kaufman, number 34, comes down, called for the foul. Her second. So we're all square at 29 in the waning stages of this Division III regional final where each squad is scratched and clawed. Ottawa Glendorf trail by his double digits here in the second half. Margareta surrendered the lead. And then a big Dales Concrete three. Has this right back knotted up at 29 in this Division Three regional final. Well, take a look at the board. Who's in the one and one? Margaret. Lady Titans. Oh, Lady right. Titans are in the bonus. Normally, it's just the opposite. So Titans, only two fouls here in this second half. Margareta, every foul from here on out will send the Titans to the least famous recipe free throw line. Reagan Heck will look to inbound. Still looking, gets it into a tight spot. Oh Ball's boy. loose, and it lands in the hands of Hazelman. Erford. Worst place to catch the balls down in the corner where the double team's going to come. Great job by the Titans. Roadhouse, tightly guarded. Goes right to the window. Thought she was fouled. No call. And the Polar Bears have a five on three if they want it. Floater up and good by Lily Edwards. That's a gutsy shot, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Pulled up on a dime from about 12 feet, knocked it in. Roadhouse trailing 31-29. Kaufman lobs to Glenn, and a foul committed by the Polar Bears. She went down hard. I hope she didn't hit her head. Palomo helped up. The 5'5 junior picks up her second. So Glenn will go to the line, front end of the one and one upcoming. On that replay, you can see Glenn coming back to the basketball. She does it, that ball's gonna get swiped. Long rebound, chased down by Erford, jump ball, Titans retain possession. 2.09 to go, trailing by two. Great effort by both girls right there going for that basketball. OG will trigger it in. Caitlin Kimmett gets it to Grodhouse. Glenn wants it, gets it. Turn around, no. With two minutes to go, the rebound pulled down by Edwards. Races Little across bit the too side strong line. right there, partner. Right idea, though. Palomo, leading by two, gives to Keller. Behind the back dribble, guarded tightly by Grothaus. Hazelman will come and chase Lily Edwards. Approaching 90 seconds in the game. Now here's the nice thing, they got four fouls they can give. Palomo, and a foul committed by Kaylin Grothaus, her third. Gilly said, doesn't affect anything. They just got to throw it in again. Here comes Aldridge for Glenn. Micah Aldridge back in the game. This is where you don't want to give up a bucket to the rim here. Palomo looks to get it in, does to Heck. Dribbles it across the timeline, stripped by Hazelman, and she'll pick up the foul. Her third, team's fourth. You know, that's one of those, if she goes from underneath, I don't know if the official can call that. Bounces in. Edwards along the sideline. Trapped, throws out of it. 
Hazelman picks up her fourth. Timeout called by Troy Yant and the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. 1.13 to go in this Division Three Regional Final. 31-29. Margareta, the lead over Ottawa Glendorf. What's the message to the Lady Titans here during this timeout, Kelly? Well, you, you, you definitely got to tell Hazelman not to get that fifth. Yeah. You know, senior leadership. So you want to keep her on the floor. You want to take and you want to find somebody. Again, assistant coaches, that's their responsibility on the who to file and when to file. And if, you, if, if you've done your homework, you've got girls on Margareta that you've got to file, and there's girls you don't want to file. Take a look at what's upcoming here on WOSN. Plenty of tournament basketball for you over the course of the following days and next 10 days or so. Just a buffet of high school tournament action. Get a look at the instant That's replay. That's a big shot right here. Yeah, I Lily mean, Edwards just, dime, yep. just knocks it in. Floats it, and that's the difference in the game so far at 31-29. It's about a minute and a half ago or so as the Polar Bears look to inbound once more. We got a five-second call. Nope, we got a timeout called by Margareta. 31-29. Polar Bears lead with 1.13 to go. And that is the third timeout used by the Polar Bears. So they got two more in their back pocket. And really a good timeout there, Gilly. Real good timeout, because if not, it's a five-second count. You see how everybody got here. Margareta, a one-point win over Harvest Prep earlier this week. Out of a Glandorf, really no trouble with Liberty Center in the regional semifinals. And we got a dandy here in the regional finals. Margareta's last trip to the state tournament, 2006. Ottawa glandor has been there five times since 2015. Looking to return and win that elusive state championship. A couple of runners up trophies sit in their trophy case at the high school, but never the gold one. And they'd love to change that here in 2023. You know, OG still has one more foul to give. Margareta will throw it in one more time. Ultimate outdoor scoreboard says 31-29. Polar Bears the lead, Lily Edwards. Honorable mention, all Northwest District. Looking to throw it in to Hack in the backcourt. Pressured in a tough spot. Dribbles, or passes out of it, I should say. Lobbed up ahead. Edwards trapped on the sideline. And now a foul committed by Carly Brinkman. So now, the next one by OG sends Margareta to the line. Great pressure right there on the trap. Now, now they've got to pick and choose who they're going to put at the cherry stripe if they have to foul. Edwards inbounding. Gets to Heck. Exactly one minute remain in this Division One, Division Three regional final. Oh, Heck boy. nearly threw it in the backcourt. Chased sure down by Keller. Keller, a dangerous pass to Heck. Palomo fouled. And the 75% free throw shooter steps to the least famous recipe free throw line at a pivotal time. Yeah, looking at the numbers of what I have here, partner, you want to stay away from Palomo and you want to stay away from Keller. Yeah, Lily Edwards of Margareta, 58% free throw shooter, Reagan Hex 64. Keller, 85, Palomo, 75. As Eden Palomo shoots the front end of the one and one, and her first point of the evening comes at a big time, making it 32 29. Hits them both, makes it a two possession game, and the Titans need to move quickly. Erfurt straight away. Kimmett, Kaufman. It's about the third or fourth time that the Titans, if they could have gotten the and one, would have come at a big time. Katie Kaufman, it doesn't hit. But a lot of time left, partner, on the clock. Already with 11 points. Here's she this replay. She's so close to getting the and one. 
You can see the frustration on her face. She wants that and one. Hits the free throw from the Leafs' famous recipe free throw line. Has 12 and a lead back down to three. Troy Ann will call a timeout with 34.6 seconds remaining. Titans will talk about it, have a couple more timeouts in their back pocket should they want them, need them, with 34.6 to go. And are you, you're still in, there's enough time to try to force a trap before you foul here, sure, right? absolutely. You play for the five second or the 10 second count, and then if not, then you've got to decide who to foul and when. 33-30 to score, Margaret of the lead. And if you get the ball back with enough time, you don't need to settle for a, you know, for a three. If she knocks this in, it's a, it's a one possession, two point basket lead. So Katie Kaufman just made the first. We'll go back to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line where she shoots 54%. She can hit this one. It'll cut the lead to two. Titans send a couple of players to the scoreboard. Yeah, I think they're going to go big for small here against the defense if they can make this. Kaufman left it short. Rebounds loose. And Keller has it and fouled in the backcourt. Now this is the one that can really Put the dagger, you get two of them here with an 85% free throw shooter. Keller looks like she's been in a street fight. Will go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Looking to grow the lead to five. Got it. Under. Now she's got it in her eyes, doesn't she? You can tell. Timeout taken by Margareta. They want to talk things over with under 30 seconds to go. And a four-point lead. And just to make sure they've got everything set the way they want it, go over the situation, whether she makes the free throw, whether she misses the free throw. A lot of time left, though. For Ottawa Glendorf, you're still in get to the hoop rather than yeah. find a three, right? Absolutely. I think you've got to take the, the best shot that is given to you under these circumstances. If you're wide open for a three, you've got to let it rip. They've had some really good looks tonight, uncontested, that just haven't fell in. Yeah, they went 0 for 9 from the, uh, shooting the Dales Concrete three-pointers there in the first half and hit a couple here in the second half, but trail by four, and we'll see what the end result here is. It's J.L. Keller, the 5'5 senior guard, second team all Northwest District, will go to the line trying to grow the lead for the Polar Bears. Now she wants the ball, you can tell. 85% free throw shooter, hits them both. Erford, Dale's concrete three, no, rebound to Heck. And the Polar Bear faithful start to make their noise. That's a high quality shot by that young lady. Corner three on the Dales Concrete triple try from Erford. Didn't fall. Tested it, just didn't fall in. So Reagan Heck, not a great free throw shooter, 64%. Team average is 65. And the sophomore at the line. Missed it. Kaufman tracks down a rebound. Pushes it up. Stolen away by Eden Palomo. Got out of it. Erfurt commits the foul. And with 12.2 to go, J.L. Keller going back to the line. Shooting two. That one drops down on her. Hey, this is the one if you're OG, you gotta turn and burn, make her miss.
Still two timeouts left. Probably going to have to be a three, I would think, Carter. Got that one. They got to move quickly. Erford. Kaufman steps up to the wing, lets it fly, left it short. Glenn throws one high, can't hit. Two, one, and Castalia Margareta is going back to the state tournament for the first time since 2006. Yeah, what a great high school basketball game. They hit their free throws down the stretch. Ottawa Glandorf had a couple of looks at some threes. Would have made it interesting. But the 22 and 6 Polar Bears will head to the University of Dayton next week and represent the Northwest District in the Division III state semifinals. They didn't get their free throws early, but they made them when they count down the stretch. And remember, that was one of the stats that we had talked about. They had made more free throws on the year than their opponents had attempted. They may not have got that goal tonight, but they made them when they had to at 66% as a team. And what a gutsy effort by both ball clubs. Margareta, 8 of 11 from the line. Ottawa Glandorf, 12 of 21 from the charity stripe. End up shooting 2 for 20 from the Dales Concrete 3. Five of seven, the second half of the charity strike. So, 36-30. Margareta moves to 22 and six. Out of a Glandorf caps off a fantastic season at 23 and four. Champions of the Western Buckeye League and fall in the regional finals. Final thoughts tonight from today's game, Miguelie. I think, you know, Margareta's gonna shock some people down there at the final four. They're well coached, they play hard, the girls buy into the system. You know, they're, they're unselfish, they got really, really good guard play. Yeah. And they're, you know, they're young. Both these basketball teams are young, and if they stay D3, you may see them two play one another for the upcoming years, but good luck to Margareta. It's unfortunate for the three seniors at OG, the doggone those three seniors that are leaving, they established themselves and had a heck of a run for the Titans especially when they got down to the big dance in Dayton. So the final score, Margareta 36, Ottawa Glandorf 30, as the Titans will receive their medals. And that'll do it from us here in the Elida Fieldhouse. Titans fall in a regional finals for our spectacular WOSN crew and Darren Gilbert. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time here on WOSN.